Well, hi everybody. Welcome to Christy Dawn's Cooking. And today I'm going to show you how to make the Austrian favorite Linzer cookies. And we're actually going to be using the Christmas jam that we made a couple weeks ago to fill the cookies. So I hope you stay tuned and watch exactly how I make these. For this cookie, you're going to need butter, granulated sugar, pure vanilla extract, salt, flour, your favorite jam, and confectioner sugar. So to make this cookie, I went ahead and put three sticks of softened butter in the mixer. This is a very rich, delicate cookie, so um, it's going to have a lot of butter in it. We're going to add to that um, one cup of granulated sugar. I'm going to go ahead and get that creaming. It won't take long at all. I fell in love with this cookie um, when I was traveling in Austria when I was a teenager. Um, I was very fortunate growing up that um, my father owned an air freight business and we were able to travel a lot. So, I was so lucky to get to do that. So, when I was 14, we actually got to spend a month in Europe. So much fun. My dad was actually stationed in Germany in the early 60s, and he um, told my maternal grandparents that he always wanted to take my mom to Europe. So that's what we did. In 1984, we spent a month in Europe, so it was so much fun. And that's where I learned about Linzer cookies. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit, and then we'll scrape it down. Looking good. Now, traditionally, Linzer cookies are made with a raspberry filling, but I'm going to use the Christmas jam that I made, and I will link um, to this video, the video where I show how to make Christmas jam. I just think that'd be the perfect, perfect jam filling for this cookie. Okay, that looks great. So I'm going to add now in one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm using pink Himalayan salt. Let me get that going. Scrape everything down again. Hope y'all are having a great day. I am. We are expecting a huge snowstorm tomorrow. They're calling for our area 14 to 20 inches. And we're in the mid Atlantic area. So that's a lot for us. I'm excited about the thought of having a white Christmas. Okay, just a couple of little stirs. Let's make sure everything's mixed well before we put in the flour. Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna leave it on stir. I'm going to slowly put in three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Slowly add this in. more. 
and the last little bit. crumbly. Like I said, it's going to be a very short dough. Let's see if I can squeeze it. Yep. So you want to be able to squeeze it. It's going to stay together. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and put this in a Ziploc bag and we're going to let it sit in the refrigerator for at least an hour more if you're able to do that that's even better so when that's up i will bring you back and show you how we start to roll these cookies out hi everybody okay so it's been about six hours since i last saw you i got busy today running some christmas errands but i want to show you now how you can take the dough out and you can start to prepare it for baking so um, you need to leave it out for a little bit so that it's pliable. Hey, hush. Um, sorry, the dogs heard me say cookies, and that's their word for a treat. Um, so you want to go ahead and make the dough a little bit pliable, or just set it out on the counter for about a half hour or an hour so it's easy to, to use. I am going to be using, this was actually one of my grandmother's. I, it's so special to me. It's a cookie cutter, and it has just like a little scalloped edge. If you don't have one of these, it's okay. Just use a biscuit cutter or just some kind of a round, round, you know, cookie cutter. That's all you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out. And I'm looking for about a quarter of an inch thickness. All right, that looks good. You can take your cookie cutter down straight up it's a cradle cookie okay so with the linzer cookie half are the bottom and half are the top and the top has a little hole cut out of it and I went ahead and I made some already so these here let me say I need to do two more these are going to be the tops. So this is a beautiful dough. It's a short dough, so it's going to crumble on you, but that's okay. Flip it over, just smooth it out. Two more for the tops. Very good. Okay. So I'm going to take the scraps and put them over here to the side. Now, we need to make the hole in the middle. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a um, piping tip. If you have one of these, you can use this. If not, um, gosh, just anything, anything small like this. So I'm gonna go right down in the middle. And there we go. I have a set, and like I told you before, I rearranged my kitchen, and I cannot find a couple of things. And the one thing I cannot find is I had a set of small little cookie cutters with different shapes. I think a star would be really pretty. I think making these cookies at Valentine's Day with a small heart would be pretty, especially with the red jam. So, I am going to be on the hunt for those. I'm missing a bunch of cookie cutters, so I think that they're probably, I put them in a box and put them in our storage space. I just can't locate it right now. I'm just using a little poker to get it out. All right, last one. So here you go. I went ahead and did 20. So I have 10 bottoms and 10 tops. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a 350 degree oven for 18 to 20 minutes until they're lightly golden. And I'll bring you back and show you what we do next. 
So the cookies were in the oven for about 16 minutes and I went to check on them and they, they look a little bit done to me. So I think those are actually perfect. So I'm gonna adjust the recipe for 16 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead now and put them on a cooling rack. We need to, I'm gonna separate them between the, the solids and the ones that have the cutout. And I'm gonna let these completely cool. When they are cool, um, I'm gonna bring you back and show you how we finish these off. So to assemble the cookies, it's very easy. Remember when we made the Christmas jam, I went ahead and opened up a jar of that and I thought how special it would be to use this, the cranberry strawberry jam on these Linzer cookies. So I'm going to take about, I don't know, about a teaspoonful. I'm going to spread it on the cookie on the base. I flipped it upside down. And then I'm going to take a little bit of powdered sugar. I have it in, in a fine mesh sieve. I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle some powdered sugar on top. <clears throat> Place that on top of the cookie. And there you go, a beautiful Linzer cookie. Oh, they're so pretty. So I'm gonna continue on with these until they're all finished. If you make this cookie, please let me know. Leave a message down below or a comment. I love hearing when you all make these. It just it just brings so much joy to, to myself. So take good care. Let me know if you have any questions. And for all of my fellow Northeasterners, please be safe with this snowstorm coming tomorrow. I'll be praying for you all. Take good care.